Hey guys, I got a request to do something similar to a loading system for a separate player. So, you know how on um, League of Legends or Dota you select your character beforehand and when the match starts it loads up the character? We're going to be doing something like that. Now it gets a little more complicated if you're saving separate stats for each character, but we're not going to mess with a more complicated thing I'll just show the basics of how to do this since someone requested it so actually if you're making um, already predetermined characters and each one has a different uh, set of stats maybe one moves fast moves faster and one has more health and stuff what you can do is you can create prefabs for each one of those characters and when you create the prefab you're going to throw on player stats and make it so you can adjust it in the window instead of through the script or you can actually create a separate player script for each character that you want to have the player be in control of so this isn't going to be really for um, RPG stats or anything like that I'll try in the future um, making a tutorial so you can save separate stats for each player that's still a tutorial I have planned out so maybe you want to do a character creation kind of like World of Warcraft where you want to create a create a player and then keep different um, player stats for each character so in the future I'll go over a little bit about that but for now we just want to load up a predetermined character into the scene and so we're not going to be using real characters like I have walking around now I would have to throw a lot of stuff on here, but we're going to get either the red or the blue one to spawn in a certain location depending on what we select from our, our menu. So in this scene, I just created two random cubes with different colors, and then I created two prefabs for character one and two, and then I also have a, let's see, spawn players. So when the game starts, it'll spawn all of the players at this center location. I'll probably end up putting it somewhere else, but this is where it's going to be. And I threw character 1 and character 2 on here. So whichever one our player chooses, that will be the one that spawns and that they can use during the match. So that's the basics for that. Um, so pretty much our spawn player, we have a static variable character selected. Whatever character we select from the um, the main menu and then we load in it'll keep this stat so we have character 1 and character 2 which are prefabs that we threw on there so start we're going to do character selected equals player prefabs get int and selected character now in my main menu I created a save for selected character and we can load it up through here because it'll be um, at the start it'll be grabbing that saved um, int and throwing it onto here so we can use it which will be checked for here so if it equals zero we're going to instantiate the uh, first player or character and if it's one we're going to instantiate a second character instead so either one or the other depending on um, what you choose from the beginning so that's the basic spawn script you can what I did was just create a um, empty game object and this will be the location that our characters spawn at and yeah I threw the script onto there so you're going to want to save your scene and open up a different scene now my other scene is my main menu that we were working on before and there's nothing in here besides a camera and some scripts so I went into the um, main menu script I'm not going to be um, trying to think if I should be including any of this because pretty much I'm just showing you how to do this um, we've learned all these parts in other tutorials so I probably won't include a script because all we're doing is creating buttons we are creating different variables and we are um, instantiating and creating different variables that we've done before in the past so hopefully you guys um, can get the gist of what to do to create your own um, character selection. It's pretty basic. If it was more complex, I would include more scripts, but you might want to name your variables differently on how you do it and name your characters differently, so I'm not going to be bothering with any of that, I guess. 
So pretty much, okay, we're going to go into our main menu, and we're going to go into our ongui function, and we're going to create a couple of new buttons here. These are just normal buttons for clicking. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab um, spawn player script and character selected, and we're going to set it to zero. So pretty much um, all our scripts can be um, changed if we're in a separate menu, just for the time being. So we are going to go in and set that to something different. And then what we are going to do is um, save this. So when we switch to a different scene, it'll still keep that number set the same. So character selected, zero, it'll save that and it'll, once we um, start, it'll load it up. Just so our variable doesn't get erased or anything like that, we can just save it really quick and we can access it relatively easily. So I created one button for that, it'll set that to zero and then it'll save it. And yeah, so it's pretty much, this is um, the name of the var the, it's pretty much just a random variable that you want to save for saving and loading. So select character will be equal to um, character selected. So it takes this and it throws it into here. That's how we can access selected character when we're loading the variables. Or, yep, for saving and loading. Because we learned that in previous tutorials. So for this one, it'll be set to zero. And for this one, one. And so it'll go in here, it'll load it up, it'll check if it's either zero or one, and do all that. So it'll probably be easier just to show off exactly what this does. So we have. Oh, I forgot to rename that real quick. So pretty much we load in here, we can select between character one and two. If we click on either one of these, it'll save. So I'll click on character one for now. And I still have my password field, that's just my password. We'll load up. It loaded a blue box into that, that spot. So we'll close this, we'll go back in, um, we'll set character 2, type in my password again, and now it is red. So for these two boxes it would actually be a separate player. Um, the camera right now wouldn't have to be in there, it would just have to be the prefab for the actual player itself. So. Um, I could completely get rid of my character out of my scene and have a bunch of different um, characters that might have different abilities and stuff and click to move will work perfectly with it. Um, depending on how your prefab is set up, hopefully you can um, access the different variables and stuff like that. But that's a simple way of loading up different characters. Like I said before, I only have one character at the moment, so in the future when I have multiple characters, this is the system I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be making them spawn at a base instead of in the middle of nowhere. But this is pretty much for basic testing. Hopefully you guys learned a little something about um, loading up different characters. Like I said in the future, we'll be creating something like a World of Warcraft RPG save system, where you can create multiple characters with different names. Uh, save different variables for each individual character and load into the game with the different set variables. So stay tuned for tutorials in the future. Sorry I couldn't cover more, but trying to make the, these tutorials shorter. I know some people um, have been complaining about me not going over everything in one tutorial. So hopefully um, this helps someone out. So yeah.